Strawberries are delicious and beautiful fruits, but do you know how they are produced? Today we are going to talk about major strawberry production practices and some of the problems associated with production in Florida. Production of strawberries starts with bed formation and fumigation. Generally, four beds are formed at a time and there is a fumigation rig beneath the bed pressure that has this shanks that delivers fumigants from tank to the soil bed. Generally, nitrogen gas is used as a propeller to inject the fumigants. After one pass is done, then another pass of bed pressure is done to provide better retention of fumigant and provide stable shape to the bed. After beds are formed, there will be a group of people coming with polyethylene mulch and drip tape and they install this polyethylene mulch and drip tape as they pass along the bed, there is one drip tape per bed with one feet spacing between the emitters. After they finish stalling, there will be a group of people helping them to cut the plastic and drip tape. They move to the more beds for laying those plastic and drip tapes. An average bed geometry of strawberry beds include 120 cm between center of the bed to another center of the bed. It is 91 cm bed top width, 23 cm height of the bed. There will be two rows of strawberry planted, 12 cm between the rows and 12 cm between the plants. After this initial process of production, beds are left for 3 to 4 weeks depending upon what kind of fumigants you are using. This time frame allows fumigants to be effective to kill all kinds of soil burn pathogens and weed seeds and decompose into the different form that does not harm the transplants or get dissipated to the atmosphere. After making sure there is no fumigant retention in the soil bed, transplant is done. Transplants are imported from nurseries. In Florida, we import transplants from three major nurseries. They are California, North Carolina, and Canada. At the time of transplant, Double row bed puncture is used to make holes in the plastic and strawberry transplants are transplanted with manual labor. In the initial phase of transplant, there will be irrigation by drip tape and irrigation by sprinkle irrigation system. This double irrigation provides better cooler environment for strawberry transplants to grow as we transplant in month of October in Florida which is still pretty warm and humid environmental condition for strawberry transplants. This sprinkle water system also helps strawberry plants from injury caused by freezing or any kind of frost weather condition. As strawberry plants produce these runners as a vegetative propagation, you need to cut these runners frequently so that they don't lose their energy in producing more vegetative growth and focus the energy more on producing flower and fruits. It takes approximately 60 to 70 days for strawberry plants to produce their first fruit, depending upon the cultivar you are using. In terms of production cycle, transplants happen around October. They start producing their first fruit around December and the harvest goes until end of the February. Harvesting is done with a manual labor. Hand picking is a very common practice and they are handpicked twice a week from December to end of February. <music>